Hi, I'm Layla Harris. I'm a close to my heart independent consultant. Today I'm going to show you how to ink around the edges for our scaredy cat sampler. If you have a whole sponge or a half a sponge, I recommend cutting it in half to down to a quarter or a third. I like to use a third because it's not much smaller and you get two more pieces from the hole. So what we can do is you just ink it up. You pounce. You don't have to rub back and forth. You just bounce up and down until you have some ink and you're not going to have enough ink loaded in your sponge right now for the whole project. Don't worry about that. And I know it doesn't look like a whole lot, but this one is pretty well loaded. You're just going to brush and see, I got, I was so well loaded that I have a little too much. So what we can always do is our card stocks are double sided. We can just flip it over. Be consistent in the way you brush. Going straight down leaves just a little bit of a edge. As you can, you can go like this, as I did the first swipe, and you'll get a lot. You can also go like this, which leaves a streaky, narrow area, or you can go very slowly and carefully. It is completely up to you the way you want to do it, but try to be consistent for this project. The next project, you can do it a different way. So that's how we do our inking around the edges for our cardstock. And that just gives a little bit of a shadow. It hides the white edge of our cardstock, which we do use it favorably in other projects. But um, that's it. Nice and simple.